Here's something that might be useful for anyone cutting down a palm tree and removing the root. And I'm going to try and go through this a little faster the, than in my normal videos. But the um, first thing you're going to need to do is remove the roots. And there are a lot of roots around this thing. I use a hand axe and a pick. And uh, really just a small shovel. This is a lot. Of, I would say this right here probably took me about uh, five hours, I'm guessing, to get the dirt out of here. Could have been longer. I did it over a period of time. And you just want to try and uh, hack away at the roots and uh, try and carve something out like this. You might not need to go this deep. You know, you could probably stop about here, I'm guessing. Uh, my uh, makeshift... Uh, umbrella holder what can I say you got to do what you got to do right now the first thing you're gonna need to do is cut a groove in it like this going in both directions and uh, I used a small electric chainsaw to do that and actually this chainsaw cut this palm tree down and I've done a lot of work with this thing this came as an attachment uh, it was attached to a pole so that I could cut another tree down and I think it would extend out about 10 feet the pole with, with the pole on the chainsaw. I'm going to need to cut some wedges. I cut these out of some 2x4s and uh, you can use whatever scraps you have and then you're going to drive the wedges into the grooves and when I cut these grooves I probably cut it down about um, 4 inches that seems to be fine um, you know, if you can just get some starter grooves in here, I mean, you might actually be able to do this without a chainsaw and just drive the wedges in there. But uh, if you got a chainsaw, use it. And you can see here where it's starting to get a little bigger. And it's, this really didn't take a lot of time. I would say from the time I cut the notch in here and the wedges and uh, with all the pictures I took, that uh, I'm guessing it took about half hour, something like that. If I if I just cut the wedges and start driving them in there, uh, I'm I'm guessing no more than 15 minutes to finish this thing. You can see it getting a little wider there, a little wider. Wedges are going a little deeper. And what I do is I just kind of like I drive this wedge in, and then I drive this one. I just kind of hit this with a sledgehammer, hit this with a sledgehammer, maybe hit this one. Just kind of work my way around um, driving the wedges in. And there you can see it's a little farther. And you're probably thinking, now ah, what are we going to do? We need some uh, different wedges. Well, yeah, you can uh, put two wedges together, something like this. You can see what I did here. Just grab two of the wedges out. And this was pretty loose. Once I got it to about this point here, it didn't take much effort to move it. Uh, this is a better picture of it there. And, you can, and I got the two by four, and I'm just kind of, you know, I want to say this just really didn't take a lot of effort. I, I tried to spread it away here because I'm going to have, you're, you're going to have to get the axe or something to break the roots at the bottom. And I just hacked away at one side until it uh, was loose and then pulled it out and just kind of worked my way around getting that stuff out. And you can see, here's the hand ax. You can see where it's not a lot of effort uh, from here. And then that is it there and it's gone. Now I am going to put some footage in here. It's gonna drive you nuts. Probably you can stop the video right here but uh, I did uh, do some filming on this and uh, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach at least a couple of the videos I made. I just couldn't hold the camera straight. And, uh, but maybe you can get a little more information in there. If it drives you nuts, just stop watching the video. Okay, I put the wedges in. hope you can see it there. And basically what I do is hit one and since I don't have a tripod I basically just hit this one and then work my way around kind of a thing hope that makes sense and just keep driving it around driving them in and you can keep adding more wedges if you need to to split it into sections so let me go ahead and get back to it and see what happens here Okay, on this step here, you can see where I put the, I just set this in here. And you can see where I'm not putting a lot of effort on, on it. 
hopefully you're getting that. Not going to take a lot from here to pull this out and to pull these pieces out here. Not going to take a lot now to get an axe in there and pull this piece out. And then, of course, do it to the next one and work my way around. And now I'll have small pieces where I can actually lift them up and put them in the trash can. So, anyway, I think that's, well, I guess that's not it for the video. I'll pull this piece out and then kind of give you an idea. I'm guessing it'll take me about five minutes to take that out, if that.